we are going to discuss the p-value. p-value or p is an alternative way of rejecting or accepting the null hypothesis. p-value is also a probability of committing type 1 error, that is, rejecting the null hypothesis when in fact the null hypothesis is true. Here is the table for p-value with the corresponding interpretation. For the p-value less than 0 0.01, it is highly statistically significant and there is a very strong evidence against the null hypothesis. For the p-value 0 0.01 to 0 0.05, it is statistically significant and adequate evidence against the null hypothesis. And for the greater than 0 0.05, it is insufficient evidence against the null hypothesis. We're going to use the given table in interpreting the p-value. For a small p-value, that is, less than or equal to 0 0.05, it indicates an adequate or strong evidence against the null hypothesis. So, you reject the null hypothesis. And for a large p-value, that is greater than 0 0.05, it indicates a weak evidence against the null hypothesis. So, you accept or fail to reject the null hypothesis. Let us now determine whether the null hypothesis should be rejected or accepted based on the given p-value at alpha level, which is equal to 0 0.05. Alpha level is also known as our significance level. Let's have number one. Our p-value is 0 0.05. Do we need to reject or accept the null hypothesis? Our decision is reject the null hypothesis because our p-value is equal to our alpha level. Number two, our p-value is equal to 0 0.058. Do we need to reject or accept the null hypothesis? So we have to accept the null hypothesis because our p-value is greater than the alpha level. Number three, our p-value is equal to 0 0.045. The decision is reject the null hypothesis because our p-value is less than the alpha level. Number four, our p-value is equal to 0 0.01. Our decision is reject the null hypothesis because our p-value is less than the alpha level. And number five, the p-value is equal to 0 0.075. Decision, accept the null hypothesis because our p-value is greater than the alpha level. Let us remember that for a two-tailed test, the p-value is the area to the left and or to the right of the computed z using the z table of areas and for a one tail test the p value is the area to the left if it is left tailed or the area to the right if it is right tailed of the computed z using the z table of areas let us now determine whether the null hypothesis should be rejected or accepted by finding the p-value given the z-score at alpha level which is equal to 0 0.05. Let's have number 1. z is equal to negative 2.2. Our given z is negative therefore it is a left tail and it is found at the left of the mean in our normal curve. So we're going to Find the area or p-value to the left of z. And to find the area or p-value, we have to use the z-table. 
all you have to do is to find the intersection of the first two digit and the third digit of our z value our first two digit is negative 2.2 and negative 2.2 is the same as negative 2.20. Therefore, the third digit is 0. So the intersection of negative 2.2 and 0 is 0 0.01390 or 0 0.01390. So the p value is equal to 0 0.01390 or 0 0.014 let us now compare our p value to our alpha level so p value is equal to 0 0.014 and alpha level is 0 0.05 so p value is less than the alpha level therefore our decision is reject the null hypothesis number two the given z is equal to 1.63 so our given z is positive therefore it is a right tail so we have to find the area or p value to the right of z to find the area or p value to the right of z we have two options the first one is get the area or p value of the given z then subtract it from 1. Let us use the Z table. The first two digit is 1.6 and the third digit is 3. And it is equivalent to 0 0.03 in the first row. So the intersection is 0.94845 or 0 0.94845. So, 0 0.94845 is now subtracted from 1. So, 1 minus 0 0.94845 is equal to 0 0.05155 or 0 0.052. So, our p-value is 0 0.052. Let us now compare our p-value and our alpha level. So our p-value is 0 0.052 and our alpha level is 0 0.05. So our p-value is greater than the alpha level. Therefore, our decision is accept the null hypothesis. The second option is Find the area or p-value opposite the given z-score. So, positive 1.63 will become now negative 1.63. From right tail, we're going to use the left tail. Let us now use the z-table for the negative z-scores. So, the first two digit is negative 1.6 and the third digit is 0 0.03 so the intersection is 0 0.05155 or 0 0.05155 so the p-value is 0 0.05155 or 0 0.052 let us now compare the p-value and the alpha level so p-value is equal to 0 0.052, alpha level is 0 0.05. So the p-value is greater than the alpha level. Therefore, the decision is accept the null hypothesis. Number 3, our z is equal to negative 2.36 or z is equal to 2.36. So our given z is a two-tailed. So to find the area or p-value of z under two-tailed, we're going to add the area to the left and to the right of z. Let us now find the area or p-value to the left and 
to the right of z using the z table. Let us first find the area to the left of z. So the first two digit is negative 2.3. The third digit is 0 0.06. The intersection is 0 0.00914 or 0 0.00914. Therefore, the area of C which is equal to negative 2.36 is P is equal to 0 0.00914 or 0 0.009. Now, to find the area to the right of Z, where Z is equal to 2.36, we have to use the second option in finding the area or p-value to the right of Z, wherein we just get the area of its opposite. Therefore, the area or p-value of Z, which is equal to 2.36, is also 0 0.00914 or 0 0.009 We're going to add now the area to the left and to the right of Z to get the area or p-value of the given Z under 2 tailed. So 0 0.009 plus 0 0.009 is equal to 0 0.018 Then compare it to the alpha level which is 0 0.05 p value is less than the alpha level therefore our decision is reject the null hypothesis